In present video, I am going to explain about first problem from bank reconciliation statement topic. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about bank reconciliation statement topic. So on BRS topic for degree students, I made some videos. In first video, I explained the concept of BRS. So that video link I'm giving in the description box and I'm leaving in the I cards. So I request you to watch that video first because to understand the present problem, knowing the basics of BRS is very important. Let us see the question. See, this is the first problem. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement of Mr. Vasudev from the following particulars. Four points are given. First point is balance as per cash book 1500 rupees. So here balance means bank balance. So bank balance is of two types. No? Favorable bank balance, unfavorable bank balance. Unfavorable bank balance is also known as bank overdraft balance. Favorable bank balance means firm is maintaining a current account with one bank and in that account some balance is there. Overdraft bank balance means what? Firm has taken loan from the bank. Here there is no proper information regarding which balance it is. So in the absence of proper information, our assumption is this is favorable bank balance. Sometimes in question, he may give unfavorable bank balance also. Balance as per cash book is given. So sometimes he may give balance as per passbook also. So there are four possibilities. Favorable bank balance as per cash book will be given in the question. Favorable bank balance as per passbook may be given in the question. Overdraft bank balance as per cash book may be given in the question. Overdraft bank balance as per passbook may be given in the question. Here, favorable bank balance as per cash book is given. So with this, we have to start BRS. Heading is Bank Reconciliation Statement of Vasudev as on dash. Sometimes he gives the date of preparing this statement. That date we have to mention. In present problem, date is not given. Therefore, dash. Here, Vasudev is a sole proprietor. He is running one current account with one bank. So between bank and firm, some transactions may happen. All these transactions, he records the cash book. So exactly speaking, triple column cash book, debit side bank column, credit side bank column. Similarly, bank records all those transactions in their ledger book, in Vasudev account. And Vasudev account copy they give to us. That copy is known as passbook. So finally, bank records all these Vasudev related transactions in passbook. And as I said in introduction video, as per a transaction, if a firm's bank balance is increasing, it will be recorded on the debit side of cash book and on the credit side of passbook. So because of a bank transaction, if firm's bank balance is decreasing, it will be shown on credit side of the cash book and the debit side of the passbook. These basic points you have to always remember. And in question he has given the reasons for disagreement. So on a particular day, Vasudev compared the bank balance as per cash book and the passbook. If these two books bank balances are same, we need not to prepare VRS. But generally, these two amounts disagree. Then, by comparing the debit side of cash book with the credit side of passbook, and the credit side of cash book with the debit side of passbook, Vasudev located these reasons. So, all these points are what? These are the reasons for disagreement. So, these points recorded in one book and not recorded in another book. Otherwise, Recorded correctly in one book, wrongly in another book. Now Vasudev wants to confirm that he has located all the reasons for disagreement. So for that confirmation, he has to do a cross-check. That cross-check is known as 
bank reconciliation statement. So he knows balance as per cash book, balance as per pass book. Both books are with him only. So if he starts with the balance as per cash book and to that amount, if he adds some reasons and if he subtracts some reasons, he should get bank balance as per pass book and vice versa. Means if he starts the problem with the bank balance as per pass book and when some amounts are added, some amounts are deducted, he should get bank balance as per cash book. But you are a student. So for you, he is not asking that one. Already reasons are given to you. You need not to compare these two books. And what he is asking, bank balance as per one book is given in the question. He is asking you to calculate the bank balance as per other book. As per cash book, bank balance is given. Question is to calculate bank balance as per pass book. So don't think that in firms also, we prepare BRS to know the bank balance as per other book. So we know the bank balances as per these two books. Why we prepare BRS in firms? To confirm whether all the reasons of disagreement are properly located or not. So but as a student, we are going to calculate the bank balance as per other book. So first reason is what? The second point. Checks are deposited but not cleared 100 rupees. Cleared means collected. So what is the meaning of this sentence? Listen. So Vasudev is preparing BRS. Always you remember BRS is prepared by the firm, not by the banker. So you have to analyze from Vasudev's point of view. So somebody has given check to us. Check amount is 100 rupees. Actually speaking, we should go to that customer's bank. We should present the check there and we should take the money. But we are running business now. Daily so many checks come to us. So can we go to all those banks? No. So what we do? We are also maintaining one bank account. No? In that account, we deposit this check. So that is known as check deposited into bank. Then what we assume? Our bank collected money from customer's bank and the amount was deposited in our account. So our bank balance is increased. With us, cash book is there now. Increase means in cash book on debit side. Amount 100 rupees. Firm increased 100 rupees in cash book. And suppose bank collected that money deposited in our account. Then bank also records the transaction in passbook now. And because of this transaction, Vasudev's bank balance is increasing. Means in passbook we said they record credit set. But what happens? See, checks are deposited but not cleared. So amount was not collected by the bank. When they collect, then only they credit now. They are not collected. Therefore, they have not credited anything. So what happened here? As per cash book, bank balance is increased by 100 rupees. As per passbook, bank balance is constant. Now what to do? Observe which book balance is given in the question. Favorable bank balance as per cash book is given in the question. So the rule is adjust cash book as per passbook. What is the meaning of that? As per passbook, if bank balance is constant, as per cash book also bank balance should be constant. As per passbook, if bank balance is increasing in cash book, we should also increase the bank balance. As per passbook, if bank balance is decreasing in cash book, we should also decrease the bank balance. So here what happened? As per passbook, bank balance is constant. But in cash book, we increased with 100 rupees now. Now there is a 100 rupees increase we should cancel. Then as per cash book also, bank balance will be constant. So cancel how to do? Increase the amount if you want to cancel, you have to decrease again. Decrease means we said in cash book, credit side. So credit side, 100 rupees if you decrease. Then these 200s will get to cancel. 
Finally, as per cash book also, bank balance is constant. So this is our final answer. If an answer comes as a decrease, we have to subtract that amount. If answer comes as increase, we have to add that amount. Now, 100 rupees we have to subtract. Here, first point. What happened? Mention in your own words. What happened here? We deposited checks, but are not collected. Checks deposited, but not collected. Subtract means you have to write the amount in inner column. Add means we should write the amount in outer column. Two amount columns are there now. This is inner column, this is outer column. In inner column, write 100 rupees. Third point, checks issued but not presented for payment 150 rupees. We are firm. We have to pay money to one supplier. Instead of giving money, we have given a check. That is called check issued. Issuing means giving to supplier. So then we assume that supplier went to our bank, he presented the check, he took the money, our bank balance is decreased. With us, cash book is there. Bank balance decrease means in cash book on credit side. No? So on credit side, we wrote 150 rupees. As per cash book, bank balance is decreased. Assume really that person went to bank, he took the money. Then bank people also record that in passbook. And as per bank records also, Vasudev's account is decreasing. Means we said they record in passbook, they will say. But what happens see? Checks issued but not presented for payment. So that person didn't go to bank. He didn't present the check. Then as per passbook, bank balance is constant. They are not decreased. But as per cash book, we decreased 150. So now which book balance is given in the question? Cash book bank balance. Then what is the rule? Adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, bank balance is constant. No? In cash book also, we have to make it constant. But 150 decrease is there. So this 150 decrease, we have to cancel now. How to cancel that? Decreased amount if you want to cancel, you have to increase again. In cash book, increase means debit side now. 150 rupees if you increase, then this increase and decrease both will get cancelled. So finally, as per cash book also, bank balance is constant. Now our answer is 150 increase. Increase means add. Here first point. What happened that you write in your own words? What happened? Checks issued but not presented for payment. 115 on the call. Last point is interest allowed by bank 20 rupees. So this is favorable bank balance now. Our money is with the bankers. So time to time they give interest to us. So first of who knows about this? Bank people. Bank people maintain passbook now. Means first it is recorded in passbook. See the question. Interest allowed by bank. Only this sentence he is giving. He is not giving this 20 rupee in which book recorded, in which book not recorded. Here we have to use our common sense. So first who knows about this transaction? As bank people are giving interest, they only know about this. So with them, passbook is there. Means first it was entered in passbook. And after allowing this interest, our bank balance increases now. Means in passbook we said they entered passbook increase means credit side now 20 rupees on credit side they enter and he is not giving about cash book. So in cash book entered or not we don't know. In BRS lesson always you keep one basic point in mind that is all these points are what recorded in one book means not recorded in another book. He need not to give separately. Similarly, recorded wrongly in one book means recorded correctly in another book. So, recorded in passbook means not recorded in cash book. And in cash book, we said we should record as per passbook if they record on credit side. In cash book, we have to record on debit side. No? 
but are not recorded. Which book balance is given in the question? Cash book bank balance. So what is the rule? Adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, bank balance is increased by 20 rupees. In cash book, now we should also increase 20 rupees. This is our final answer. Answer came as increase. Means we have to add. And what is the sentence? What happened here? Bank allowed interest. Interest 20 rupees credited in passbook. But not debited in cash book. That meaning should come in your sentence. So interest credited in passbook only. In outer column 20 rupees. So all the reasons we have recorded. Finally we have to close this. First of these three amounts we should add. 1670 rupees. This inner column amount, only one amount is there now. This amount show in outer column, 100 rupees. And this amount we have to subtract now. So 1670 minus 100 rupees. 1570. This is the answer. For this answer, what to write? Favorable bank balance as per passbook. In question, he has given favorable bank balance as per cash book too. So we have to find out favorable bank balance as per passbook. Suppose this amount is less, this amount is more. Assume that this amount is 1670 and here 5000 rupee came. Then subtract amount is more than additional amount. In that case, 5000 minus 1670 that answer comes in minus value comes in if a minus value is your answer don't show minus symbol in that case for answer what to write overdraft bank balance as per passbook we should write so as this is positive value plus value we have written the same balance favorable bank balance so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you